The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Hopefully, based on what you learned in the past section, you won't jump the gun in a problem like this and immediately try to factor it as the difference of two squares. It is the difference of two squares. But remember, before you do anything else in a factoring problem, you need to try to factor out the greatest common factor between the terms that are involved. In this case, we have a greatest common factor of x squared, so that needs to be factored out first. That leaves us with x to the fourth minus 1 inside the parentheses. x to the fourth minus 1 is a difference of two squares that factors x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. And we bring down our x squared that factored out. Now it's tempting to stop here, but your directions in these problems tell you to factor completely. And the x squared minus 1 in the last binomial is a difference of two squares that can be factored further. It factors as x plus 1 times x minus 1, and we bring down the rest of our stuff to finish off the answer.